Hello financial fans and uh, thank you all for subscribing to uh, my new stocks channel, Feature Man Stocks. And we will see uh, what happens as the years go by and see how uh, well we can do. What could possibly go wrong? I've got a few stocks I'm looking at. Uh, I noticed in the comments people mentioned different stocks and things like Bitcoin. I have no interest whatsoever in Bitcoin. This is a stocks channel, but if uh, someone wants to put up uh, a comment, I don't like to um, censor the free speech, but uh, if, if it gets too silly, if it starts looking like spam, I will remove those comments, but uh, feel free to mention a stock or two here and there you might want me to take a look at, and uh, we'll see if we... Uh, have reason to think it might have some potential. I've been wrong before and I've been right before. And I'm going to look at a few stocks today that are interesting, uh, starting with Netflix. Netflix, N-F-L-X is the symbol. And the thing about Netflix is it's number one in its particular field of uh, entertainment. Uh, people used to go out to movies and uh, this past year has been uh, a stay-at-home year and Netflix probably is going to be doing well for a while anyway we'll look at the price four hundred eighty two dollars eighty four cents that's as of November 13th Friday the 13th and the uh, looking in the first column on the left uh, all the way down to volume we see it, it trades three million shares on that particular day, but the average volume is 6 million shares. And uh, at $482, we're talking a lot of uh, money trading hands there. That's a stock where if you want to sell it, you'll find someone who wants to buy it and vice versa. And in the middle column, look, the P.E. ratio, 77, 78 uh, is the P.E. ratio, which is much higher than I would normally consider to be good but this is Netflix. This is a stock which has much more headroom than uh, it does uh, a chance of great failure anytime soon. If you look down at the bottom of that middle column, one year target estimate $547.53. That's a good uh, increase if they're right. They, they might very well be wrong. And in that first column on the left, the 52-week range, $290 to $575. So that is a uh, stock that I would consider. Uh, and remember, I'm not telling you what to buy or sell. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to trade stocks for you. I would just tell you that's interesting to me. And if you uh, think that... Uh, you want to study some stocks, this is one to add to your group of stocks that you want to study, if that makes sense. And then we'll go on to the next stock, which is Eli Lilly. I've had this in the past. I might buy it again. Uh, price, Friday, one forty-two and 38 cents. And uh, that's at the close on Friday. And look down the 52-week uh, range, first column near the bottom, 112 to 170 so it's pretty much in the middle of uh, its range over the past 52 weeks which means it has some headroom more or less uh, uh, very possible PE ratio 2330 which also is high higher than what I would like in the forward dividend and yield uh, it yields 2.08 2% uh, 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 effectively and that's $2.96. Uh, when I give a yield, which is uh, the yield as of that day, that price, uh, if the stock price goes up and they keep paying the same exact amount in the yield and the yield goes down, uh, the way to look at the yield is if it has a yield, that's pretty good because a lot of stocks don't. So. Uh, 2%, nothing to write home about, but uh, Eli Lilly is in a very good field right now with the uh, virus going around. Um, their, their name comes up now and then as uh, 
probably having some sort of good uh, future, a better future financially than they would have uh, in most years and it looks like this could be a, a good few months ahead for Eli Lilly and the symbol is LLY. And we'll look at the next stock. Intel. Uh, I've mentioned Intel before. INTC is a symbol and it was up over 1% on Friday and the 52-week range. We look at Intel, $43. We're near the low, 43.61 to 69.29. So it's almost $70 a share. It's got plenty of room to move up, and it does. It's a elevator stock goes up and down, up and down, just the way it is. And Intel should be around for a while. Looking in the middle column, the P/E ratio, 8.9. So a nine P/E ratio, still under 10. I like that forward dividend, 2.9% uh, as of Friday, $1.32 is what they hand you for holding on to the stock, and that's per share. And uh, what I will say is that it's a an interesting time just to uh, be alive or whatever. It's uh, This is an interesting era we're going through. And nobody has uh, 2020 vision looking forward, although this is the year 2020, so I guess we do have 2020 vision. And you will find that there are some stocks that are going to go up as a result of all the silly news that's out there right now. And for those people who watch this video sometime in the future, this is well after Election Day in the US and yet uh, there's still uncertainty. Uh, there's un there's always uncertainty but there's a special added uncertainty of uh, not knowing who's going to be in charge uh, come January 20th. So that might depress stocks enough to uh, make a buying opportunity, just something to think about. And I again thank all of you subscribers to Feature Man Stocks and I will try to stick with stocks and uh, avoid the other issues I stay away from the more speculative uh, opportunities that are out there and uh, some people can do well uh, speculating on whether it's uh, some option or whatever. The, by the way, while I got the subject of option on the table. I don't suggest that anyone buy or sell any options, puts, calls, that sort of thing, but if you work for a company that gives stock, op stock options free, by all means take all the free stock options you can get if you're on a board of directors and you can get some stock options. That's the road to billionaire size wealth. I thank you very much for watching.